let me use myself as an example. Let me tell you a story, I mean. I had an issue with someone and it was not really big, but I did not like it. So that person somehow got in contact with me. And it told me that they wanted to speak to me. Let's call this person Jimmy. So Jimmy contacted me and told me that he wants to speak to me. And I was thinking, what is going to happen next? Like, like, are you going to bring some more mess to me? Like, isn't this, isn't what happened already big enough or not big enough, but what already happened isn't that enough? Like, are you going to bring some more mess to me? Anyways, I believe it came to my mind to pray. And I prayed and I prayed. I believe I prayed for some time. And I got in contact with Jimmy. Before I say that, I believe it came to my mind in so many words to be at peace. Don't think negatively about what is going to happen because you don't really know what is going to happen because Jimmy didn't say what he wants to speak about. So don't think negatively about what is going to happen. Don't expect something bad to happen. So pretty much to pray about it and um, think positively. Like don't get in like a mode to where you are ready to uh, retaliate, you know, like like i am waiting for you to bring some mess to me so i can retaliate you know so i believe um i started to speak positive things started to think positive things as well some negative things were coming through but I believe I was rejecting it. So I get in contact with Jimmy and found out that what Jimmy wanted to speak about was not bad. It was not bad. Like Jimmy was not trying to start some more mess with me. So, but what if, what if I would have kept the mind frame like, I know Jimmy is going to bring some more mess to me, so I am going to be ready for him. What if I came to Jimmy in a, I guess, a somewhat hostile way? expecting him to bring some more mess to me what do you believe would have happened between me and Jimmy for that second time 
I believe it would have been probably some mess or bigger mess. And you may say to me, Kevin, what is your point? My point is, be a peacemaker. Be a person who is willing to make peace with people. And you may say, Kevin, if I be that way, people are going to take advantage of me. People are going to use me. People are going to test me and try me and make me look like a person who has no brains. I understand what you mean because I know I try to be kind to some people and I guess some people may find that as an occasion to take advantage which is very unfortunate very unfortunate listen i think it is easy to act ignorant right like how easy is it to act silly to act like a clown i think that is easy how easy is it to act rude and with no manners? I think that is like, I believe anyone can do it. Just because someone acts, I guess I can say animal-like to you, you don't have to lower yourself to how they behave. I really hope this is making sense. Just because Johnny, just because Sally, just because Bernice or Perseda or Perseda, <laughs> Jackie, Joni, just because they are rude to you just because they are mean to you just because they act in a way that they should not act towards you don't mean that you should come back to them in a hostile way be a peacemaker be a peacemaker will they continue to try to take advantage of you <laughs> maybe so Will they think that you have no brains? Maybe so, but God is watching. I believe this life is a test. A test to see how we are going to behave based upon the Bible. So I think a lot of these problems we have are set on our path to test us. And I think many of us are failing so much because we may see life as like the final destination. Like we may see this world as it is, as the final place. Like there is no place afterward. So we have to live our greatest life now. And you are mistaken. You are sorely mistaken this is not our final destination it is not there is life after death we have to behave better well kevin i don't want to be a doormat kevin i don't want to be a pushover kevin i don't want to be a pin cushion well you have to in a way you have to be a pincushion in a way. Because if you put yourself out there to help people, there may be some who are just going to use you or whatever else like that. There are going to be some hard-headed people out there, stubborn people, or I guess I can use the word misfits, 
if I am using that word rightly, there are going to be some people out there that are going to do wrong. So are you going to stop being kind and peaceful to people because there are some that are rotten? Be a peacemaker. I know, for an example, I know your dad is ignorant, your mom is ignorant, your brothers and sisters are ignorant, your cousins are ignorant. Not saying, you know, all of you, if this fits you, okay, if it doesn't, okay. So most of your family may be ignorant, but does it mean you have to be ignorant too? Maybe I should say this is an example, not saying that your family is ignorant per se, but I hope you understand what I am saying. Just because your family is ignorant doesn't mean you have to be, does it? If your mom has an anger problem, your dad has an anger problem, your sister has an anger problem, your cousin and, and niece and nephew and grandson and, and who wept, just because they fall in particular pits, does it mean, does it mean you have to be that same way too? I don't think so. Be a peacemaker. Even if you have heathens all around you, make sure you are the one that is trying to do what is right because I truly believe it pays off. You don't have to do evil to try to get good. Does that make any sense? You don't have to do what is wrong to get good things. For instance, I want to rob someone, not saying me, for an example, someone wants to rob someone because they want to pay their rent. Someone wants to break into someone's house and steal stuff because they don't have food to eat. So you don't have to do evil to get good things. I really hope this is making sense. Do what is right. Aren't we going to reap what we sow? Yes. So if you continue doing good, 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 eventually I would say it have to return to you. Don't be a criminal because you are lacking. Okay, let me stop here. May God bless us.